a 17 anni immagini Netsukuku, quindi... So, let's go back to Netsukuku, this new ne uh, internet network. How is it that you have begun to think to have and develop uh, something else in, uh, you know, Catania that should have been done in Stanford, not in Catania years back? Well, yes, because first of all, my idea also shared with my friends. We knew what was behind the internet and the way it worked. And we, we also knew about their current problems. To start with, this very big infrastructure behind it uh, doesn't provide users with a great deal of control. I have to pay my provider to start with, but this is really a minor problem. Well, let us not say to Telecom because they're hosting us here today, so I'm just joking, of course. But um, Well, we also knew that uh, uh, we wanted to uh, carry out a few tests with the Wi-Fi technologies. We were setting up a few networks. We were wondering, well, why not using the peer-to-peer -peer technologies, which are substantially those in which users cooperate to reach a unique and shared objective, which uh, Wikipedia, for instance, is a very good example of it. So we wanted to have a Wikipedia of the Internet. For instance, a user would put available just a few resources in his own computer to create a, a great, great network. So your own Wi-Fi network. So the Internet, you imagined, would self-configurate on each single Wi-Fi network. Would you understand, or is it too complex? Uh, can, you, can, can you redo it? You change the world. Uh, and you win the Nobel Prize for Sciences. But did you file this project with somebody? Did you carry out tests or whatever? Well, the first conference uh, was ITU in Geneva, in Switzerland for the World Summit of Information Technology. And this happened when? So I was my last class of high school. So you just knocked at the door of the World Summit and said, I have an idea. How did it happen? Because it's like a tale. Well, yes, you know, I, well, practically, you know, we, were already part of the Golden Book of ITU, which is a collection of projects that can help the digital divide. And there was a call for this particular conference. And we answered. We sent out our data. We were in touch with a few uh, organizers for uh, it's the union, if you like, of all the telecommunication companies. We knocked on that door, and then uh, they opened the door, they liked the project, and then what happened? We kept working on the project because it uh, requires a lot of work. Because basically, we started from scratch. We only had our original idea, and at that point, we had to think about all the science behind this, the algorithms, uh, the code that has to be described, uh, how this could be made usable. So on your website, I checked it out some time ago. You really carried out tests for this uh, uh, network to see if it worked at the beginning of October, right? It was a kind of um, exercise to see if this uh, a kind of new internet could really work. It was very difficult to read because the codes were too complicated. And well, October, it was uh, the uh, hack meeting in Pisa, where we have run a number of uh, small tests. Uh, the, the bigger scale tests we carried out through simulations. And now we are uh, working on the final touches on the algorithms. Uh, we are fine tuning them before releasing uh, the operational uh, version, which can be used by everybody. And how did that work? Oh, it worked fine. And what are you doing, Cambridge? Because the nicest part of this story is that uh, with the such revolutionary project, if you are able to succeed, also for those who give us uh, the internet connection and make money on it, you are in Cambridge uh, who with the uh, telecom's uh, support. Well, thanks to Telecom Italia and the Pixel, I won a scholarship. And thanks to
do this, uh, I uh, keep uh, studying and uh, I'm continuing my scientific studies in Cambridge, uh, a master's degree in advanced computer science. And there I'm having the possibility of understanding a little bit more how to optimize the algorithms uh, which are at the very foundation of Natsukuku. Uh, well, but if uh, your project succeeds, uh, Telecom will go out of business. No, Telecom had a good idea in hiring me, actually. <laughs> You are not thinking about making money. You're just in love with the Internet and the idea of giving the Internet to everybody, uh, just like uh, Tim Mrs. Lee. He did not really set up the World Wide Web to make money off of it. Well, you do not need to worry too much about that, actually, because if you're doing something which is substantial, uh, has substance, uh, it will come later. You should not worry about that. <laughs>